yeah, let's go! Welcome back to another daily stream of Final Fantasy IV, uh, 14, aka Legend of the Like a Dragon, Endwalker, episode 10. I'm your host, the Intergalactic Wrestler, and. Yeah, uh, wait, messed up, messed up that intro, never mind. <laughs> I'm Rex Like a Kiryu, Intergalactic Wrestler, and part time Universal Champion of Light. Okay, where we last left off. If you haven't looked at the sky already, the final days has arrived. Oh boy, and last, and according to Estola, it looks like we can't save them this time. They're not like the tempered or the, oh, I'm trying to remember, oh, the Thin Eaters. The Thin Eaters, which were all composed of Aether. These beings, they're nothing. They're literally nothing itself, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But that's the truth. They're literally no um, they're literally nothing. But anyways, uh, we were gonna speak to Ahawa uh, Ahawan over here, um, the the strap or basically the fake um, the, the fake uh, leader of a uh, ro uh, rods at Han. Even though we all know that it's actually Vitra, and he wanted Vitra to actually show himself, but like, but Vitra said like, nah. They already got too much on their plate. They don't need me to be revealed right now. And so, anyway, so now we're moving on with the story, shall we? So let's see what uh, what Ahwan wants. Forgive me, my friends, but I must return to Magatunda. For the time being, th uh, um, th there I can better manage. Uh, there I can better manage this, this crisis and, and dispatch my troops in the situation de as the situation demands. In that case, we shall sh um, carry out the. Um, this, we shall carry out this investigation of our own here in the city. Perhaps the residents can tell us more about the first and the transformations and the conditions under which it occurred. And we must um, ascertain the exactly tr what triggered the tragic events. It may give us some insight into the possible solution. I mean, oh, hang on. Give me a moment. All right, there we go. Uh, okay. All right. Time is of the essence. Let us split up into three groups and we may cover more ground. Alize and I will go to Pak um to Pakasa's um path. Thinker and Shola, pray make for um Daram Darama. I leave um um Arsa to Raha and you, Rex. Any information can better um can gather on the first blasphemy and or the manifestations of the final days here in the city would be most helpful. We um when we have uh, completed our retrospective inquiries, let us reconvene in a uh, in, in front of the uh, the uh, Megatunda. We might share what we've learned with the strap. Alrighty then. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Whatever triggered um uh, the final, whatever triggered the final days here is also happening in. The Alamegan quarters and in Ishgard too, because there's two characters on there. I thought the one in Alamegan was Pan Daniel, no, or Julius, because the the hair. But no, it looks like it's something. It's somebody else, just like a random person. And it and oh my god, I am terrified now because this this is gonna happen all over the place. All right, but oh my god, and. And then to top it all off, the what the la the blasphemy I think it was what it was called or the, the thing that we faced in the final dungeon. He said, "I'm ruined. I'm ruined." I think it might have been the the corruption or something, but ah, uh, uh, we'll find out. And then the mysterious um female voice. I don't know. That didn't sound like Heidelin at all. If I remember correctly, when we first heard it up uh, up on the moon, it must be something else. But what that something else is, we gotta find out later. Uh, anyways, it's good to do Oh. Shall we be off then? Arthur is home of the High um, Crucible of Ala Ki uh, Kimia, whose alchemist forged many of our wa um, warding skills. That seems a good place to, as any to begin our investigation, don't you think? I spoke briefly with the, the uh, Nadine, the chief alchemist here, on our last visit. He should um he should be happy to answer our qu our queries. All right then. All right, where to? Okay. Wait, 
Can I just give a uh, Ethernet shard? Or when or will he not follow me? Oh right, well, I guess we're about to find out. All right, you do follow me. Okay. Good to know. All right, where to? Where is the exit? Ah, there we go. Oh man, I can't. I can't wait to see what happens next in the story. I'm like, I'm both terrified and excited. Oh, but mostly terrified, especially with our little conversation with uh, 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 Alize. I hope she doesn't die, cause she, she's honestly one of my favorites in this game. Same with Alpha no, basically everybody. Like, I cannot hate a character, especially if they just send us um, everywhere, but anyways, alright, let's speak to Nahadin, the, the uh, new Nadine, or, ah, I cannot pronounce names, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird, I don't know why it sounds like that, I remember the, um, those red, I remember, ah, I remember, those red eyes, you were, um, uh, you were with the scions who commissioned the skill, um, from us, yes, welcome, um, I welcome you back to the High Crucible. What brings you here in these troubling times? We are assisting with the scrap in investigating the crisis that plagues the city. Did you happen to catch eyes, um, eyesight of any of the creatures? I did. As I was going about my work, I was disturbed by cr um, crashing footsteps so powerful that even the ground shook. I rushed outside and could not believe what I beheld. The night sky was burning. Suddenly, I heard panic screams coming from the direction of the ba uh, the Balshin Bazaar. The next instant, a monstrous beast poked its head out of the amidst the stalls. A handful of the radiant rushed to the scene, only to be sent um, falling as the phoenix and its minions propelled themselves skyward. So the blasphemy came from the vicinity of the market. This this knowledge may prove useful. I thank you for sharing your tale. Well, I do believe now we know where we should uh, inquire next. To the bazaar then. Alright. So where's the... Huh. Alright, pick up the pace. Come on. time to talk about tech stuff. Alright. Forgive me. Did my shops close until further notice? Needless to say, we've more pressing concerns these days. We have come not in search of words, but information concerning the uh, enormous fiend that tore through the bazaar. Did you perchance witness anything? Afraid not, my friend. I was here the whole time, so I only saw a little its little minions. Made a mess of this place they did. Doesn't look like a mess. <laughs> Alright. While that, um, while all that was going on, the Great One tw um, tore through the west side of the bazaar. You had better luck asking there. Alright then. Alright, I don't see anything. Alright. Oh, sh Really? Alright. Something the matter, Traveler. If you're lost, perhaps I'll be able to assist. The offer is most appreciated. We're not lost. But we are in need of information. Might you know anything about the gar uh, Garatundum beef that... The gar gar uh, Garatundum beef that rampaged through the bazaar? Aye, I saw it all. Though I wish I had not. I was going my work when all of a sudden a piercing scream cut through the air. I turned around and there was the fiend, a massive body bursting through the entryway and the force of a tidal wave. And when it was gone as quickly as it came. 
Okay. That information helps us a little bit of what's going on. What about you? Sisters have mercy. What is happening to the world? What am I to do? Is no word safe? Settle down, friend. The danger has passed. At least for now. If it's not too painful to remember, can you tell us what you saw? I first heard the screams. Then a horde of ravenous beasts came charging towards us. One of them was huge, bigger than the bigger than a myriad. Throwing people um people like rag dolls and it was eating them. Oh shit. I hid under the counter. Saw others do the same. But the shrieking and rolling kept on um, getting louder. More voices in the throng. Beast of victims I beast or victims, I couldn't tell. I knew not what was happening. I still don't. That is enough, my good man. You were brave to share with us your tale. Many of your f um, fellow merchants are safe. The High Crucible too, you, um, has survived. Most, mostly unscathed. Pray to stay close to your friends and loved ones, and rest your fam um, your body and mind while you are uh, you are able to. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, I suspect that the most we can um, expect the people here to tell us. I think it's best we find a place um, outside the bazaar where we might um, rest and review our findings. Yeah. Yes, you're right. All right. Go back out. Let's go back out over there. Come on, follow us, girl, huh? All right, there we go. Judging by their accounts. Transformation had already occurred by the time the beast reached the bazaar. It tore through the west side of the bazaar and headed towards the Aether uh, Net Plaza. In other words, the blasphemy may have first appeared in this vicinity. That being the case, the people in the, the Marian um, can surely tell us more. Alright. Jesus. So it's not only they corrupting the people, but it's also apparently making them eat them. Oh my god, that's even That's very much like the Sin Eater too, except even more terrifying because they can uh, uh I can't even put it into words. Going after the enormous beast, are you? I saw it, including the very instant the poor bastard transformed. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Damn. Damn the gods for putting me there. It started over by the window. A few men, merchants probably talking and drinking. Conversation must have turned for the worse. Next thing I know, their leader, I suppose he was, buries his head in his hands and black mist was swirling around him. When his whole body burst apart and the 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 and there stands a hideous Flaving beasts, massive and foul, all gaping maws and bulging eyes. His friends shrieking, and the black mist comes again, until um, until the change takes them takes them too. Stuff of nightmares, I tell you. Nightmarish indeed. It's an incidentally, do you perchance know who these merchants were? No, I'm a decorator by trade. Not much is to mingle uh, with their sort. I saw me, uh, Meline, Meline, uh, uh, a bar, a barmaid, chatting with them. Though she might know something. All right. Oh, I can't speak to Meline over here. Do not really want to. Oh. Eh. Look out. Okay. Blah blah blah. blah. Okay. Oh, the hunting board's over here. Okay, now I know. Alright. Even after repairing all the damage, it'll take a while for business to pick up again. You mean the blasphemy? That's what the Radiant, have, uh, Radiant has been calling it? Anyway. I saw it too. We all did. 
He was standing here in the counter of the Marriott uh, Maria poured me a drink, and then suddenly there came this dreadful sound, like a painful, agony, agonizing groan. It was like unlike anything I've ever heard. I turned around in shock from an ominous cloud of black mist arose the creature, enormous and ghastly to behold. As for what happened next, to recall it sends shivers down my spine. With some stroke of fortune, I was able to slip um, outside before the beast got its claws on me. But the sight that greeted me offered no solace. The blue sky above turned red as blood. Myriad, myself, and the other survivors clung to each other for dear life until the radiant host came to our aid. Wait, did I hear you correctly? The beast manifested before the sky began to turn... Before the sky began t to burn? I'm certain of it. The windows here offer a clear view of the sky, and I saw nothing out of the ordinary until the beast appeared and began to rage. Oh. So maybe the beast itself is the, ca the, the cause. The cause of the burning sky. <gasps> oh, shit, it really is like the Fin Eaters! Because if you remember, it's a... It's like a light, the blasphemy, the blasphemy is like a light warden. Oh shoot, I didn't even put, put that together until now. We're essentially fighting a reverse version, a dark version of a light warden. The, the counterpart version. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. All right, let's talk to her, to me, Damn. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the, um, uh, to Mer the Myriad Mer Merinium. Um, uh, what can I get you? You come not for, li uh, liber liberations, but rather, um, but rather for information. You're me, uh, me Li. Yes? We are investigating the so-called blasphemy in the Sestrat's, on the Sestrat's behalf. We hear that it was one of your customers, the merchant who first underwent the transformation. What can you tell us about him? He, he was something of a regular here, especially of late. Kalzan, Kalzan, Kalzan was his name. He ran his own consortium, consortium dealing primarily in exports into Iranian, the on the Iranian specialties. I never heard that name before. <gasps> oh shit! Wait, was that the guy familiar? It's though it's through him we I um, we met Messiah. I think it was that guy from from before because that name seemed familiar. I knew that name seemed familiar. Familiar. Oh shoot! Yes, the name rings the bell. Didn't you meet um meet them both uh, on your trip to the Daphnir? If I recall correctly, Ka um Kalzan ran the trading operation in Yudomad, and it was there that you made Matthias' his inquiry. Yes, that's the name, no doubt. A rather successful man, from what I get Oh shoot, wait, I'm starting to picture what happened. Alright. Before I continue on, all right, let me see if I get this right. Because the consortium that he ran was going on hard times, and he was worrying about that. You think that that worrying may have led to the him being corrupted by whatever it is that corrupted him, the nothingness that corrupted him? Because by the looks of things, anybody that's getting corrupted by the black mist that surrounds them is usually somebody who's like in doubt or has like reservations of of despair could that be the case all right let's continue on that said it was clear that he had fallen on hard times of late those ghastly towers popping up everywhere cannot you have cannot have been good for business even now with the towers gone the collapse of the empire has led to all sorts of problems elsewhere the market of luxuries is surely not what it once was Hmm. Trying times. The head of a trading consortium, indeed. Kal um, Ka 
Alva was, co was a compassionate man. Even as his own business suffered, he did what he could to provide the artisans, fishermen, and many others who counted on him to sell their wares. Indeed, that was the very topic of yesterday's meeting, as far as I could hear, yet they discussed matter, matter f further. Calva, tone grew grave and grim. It was then that, that, forgive me, would I have you recall that, uh, the memory if it brings you pain? If I could, I would just ask one more thing. Did you notice anything unusual about Kazal's in particular? Please, anything at all. Sorry, nothing brings to mind. Perhaps someone else can help you. Calzal lived for his work and had no family that I know of. His employees and associates knew him best, but they too are lost to us. Still, perhaps his neighbors know something I do not. I can direct you to them. If you be uh, believe it would help, what do you say? Alright, guide us please. Kazal made his home in Kama, a nearby residential area. From what I can gather, Kal Kazal lived in the lived there since childhood and was known throughout the neighborhood. Kama. The name uh the name is new to me. How do we get there? I'll write down the, the some directions. Okay. Can I promise that you will find uh um, that you will find what you see, but if Nothing else, it is a start. Come, let us see where, uh, where this lead takes us. Well, I guess you're still following me, Gro uh, Graha. Oh, look, a conversation marker. And you know what? Can I use this? Alright. Now where to? Jesus, though. A dude we literally met at the beginning of the game all turned into a that creature reminds me of Tess Lane. All right, big with Graha. Where's the come? I should know more of Kazan's because then it's right. Well, it's all the same. Almost there. All right, Graha, we have arrived. This must be Kama. You are very left. Let us begin questioning the residents without delay. No doubt someone here can tell us about Kalza. Kal in recent revenge, I'm. I imagine they might be thinking um, sheltering indo indoors. All right. All right, where to? All 
All right. Is there anyone here? Oh. Paragu or Parag Paraga Pariga. Oh, pa well, I don't know. hmm. You come back another time. I just woke up and I'm not exactly in the moods for idle chit chat. Well, that's one way to avoid the panic, I suppose. Pardon no intrusion. You may not have noticed, but a uh, great danger has come to Thavnir. I encourage you to stay alert. Prepare the, um, to flee the city should the situations turn dire. But before we leave you in peace, pray allow, allow us to ask a question or two. Did you know a local merchant by the name of Kalza? Um, Kalza? If so, did you notice anything unusual about him recently? Kalza, I, I know him. In fact, we spoke the other day. Like many others, his business was doing poorly. Still, it seemed as though he managed to turn things around thanks to a generous order from the uh, for Rondeval Fibert. He was um, practically dancing in the streets. Haven't spoken to him since, but I'm assuming it all went well. Dajin ba um, ba um, Baha might, uh, might be able to tell you more, though it... Though I recall he was more um, the one who who brokered the arrangement. Dajan Baha at, um, at the Ruby and Fiber. Let us make point after him as we speak to. Okay. All right. Who to next? No one here. Ah. Oh. Alright. Kazali, you see? Yes, I know him since he was a boy. Uh, excuse me. If there was... Excuse me again. Gosh dang it. Sorry about that. Alright. If there was ever a man who was born to be a merchant, it was him. Always early to depart and late to return. He spent his days proc um, procuring the finest wares and seeking out the willing cost customers. You could say it came to him as a um, as easily as breathing. Harry's business was fla um, flagging of late. No surprise, really, with, what, with what how dangerous trouble has become. He was cooped up in his house from dawn to dusk the other day. No doubt wrong, racking his brain for a way to turn his fortunes around. Then, at night, I heard the door open. I looked to see Kazal sitting on a, sitting on a bench. His head, his head hung low. A man with the weight of the world on his shoulder. I see. The situation must have been quite dire indeed. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing to speak of. Other than the troubles of his custodium, he was the same old Kalva. Cordial and honest, likewise. The questions you are asking, has something, um, has something happened to him? He wasn't caught up in a terrible incident at the bazaar, was he? I don't travel much these days, but my daughter's told me not to venture outside. So, um, second here I am. I have heard little about the, um, bazaar going, going on. But for sure, the city is safe for now, but the situation may change without warning. I urge you to stay close to your daughters and be prepared to take refuge should the strap order it. Alright. I'm beginning to understand even better what's going on, and I think my my theory might be correct. I think it might be something of uh, of despair that's causing it. It's causing it, and people are are not handling it well. Oh shoot! It's gonna happen to the guardians, aren't it? Too. Well, one of them, at least. Oh, there you are. You jumped too, huh, Graha? All right. All right, Dajin Ma. Hurry, I say. There is no time to waste. Pardon me. But were you in charge of buying uh, and selling here? Yes. We have a few questions that we'd like to. I'm sorry, but I simply have no time for chit um for to chit chat. If you haven't noticed, 
We have our hands full at the moment. We must carry uh, all our words and equipment to safety before the accursed beast returns. In that case, we um we may be of assistance. Perhaps we could um speak when the job is done. Very well. You can start by helping us move our um our equipment. Ask the others what um what what to put where. Well, guess we got another meaningless task. And you can carry out uh, our fabric. Go through the door and speak with Kamala. She'll tell you um the rest. Remember, these textiles are a livelihood. Handle them with care. Okay then. Uh. All right, there she is. All right, come on. Now. This area is employees only. Ow, ow. Oh, what's that? You coming to help? Oh, praise them. Uh, praise to be Manda ruler. Come, stranger. Welcome your assistance. On your way here, you passed three storehouses. Yes. Yeah. I'd like you to carry the small crate to the uh, Nava made it. Now, nah, brief, brief ah, uh, in the storehouse near the hatchery, a crate of cloth um uh, for the maha ma uh, maha nu nua, and the massive crates go to the, the oh my god why is it so hard to pronounce the word? Watch your back on this on this one. All those crates are ready. Once you've been delivered, consider your work to completed. You have a limited time to complete the task. Did you fall? Blah blah blah. Okay, got it. Well, it's one of these ones again. Move the crate to... Ah, there you are. Is that thread? You come to the right place. Alright, get it. Hopefully this is nice and quick. And there we go. And one more. Oh boy, this one looked heavy. <coughs> oh, holy. I say, you're quite, um, the brawly one, aren't you? Good thing that, um, that. There were no one that needed to defend yourself in the unpredictable unpredic times. Okay, fabric, is it? All right, there we go. All right, Kamala. You carried all the crates in the throne house, you say? And so quickly, too. Why, well, I've never seen anyone so strong. And my associates will see to the rest, so please return to... Digim ba Ban and be sure that the work is proceeding at pace. Alright. Oops. <laughs> Hit the door. <laughs> Alright. What the hell? Alright. Done with that, I ask, have you? If Kamala is satisfied with your work, then so am I. You have done this a great fa um, favor, Traveler. I too have delivered the instruments and uh, apparatus entrusted to me. You both have my thanks. With our words safely stored away, we will not lose any more, more of those f n any more to those fiends. I take it your establishment did not escape the attack on Skaith? We did not. Thankfully, most of our workers had already left that day, but most of us still here saw it all. Be 
They looked to the burning skies in confusion, and then before you could even begin to make sense of it, a hideous creature burst through the doors, shrieking. We ran, our, we ran for our lives, but one of my colleagues was not so fortunate. He cried out, a scream of agony, of such agony, such terror, the next instant, he too sprouted fearsome claws. The sight it caused another fellow to panic and then He too transformed. I'm sorry. There was something you wanted to ask. Indeed. You knew the merchant Kavla, did you not? I believe he had some sort of dealings with this establishment. Kalza, I know him well. He went for the, um, his consortium to deliver a large shipment of fabric. But in the end, we received a better offer and had to turn him down. I understand his business is struggling, but so is ours. Another of our most reliable trading partners agreed to transport the goods for a much smaller commission. And we have been, uh, we have been fools to refuse. I felt terrible for withdrawing the offer, but you must understand, we simply had no choice. He tried to put on, he tried to put on a brave face when I delivered the news, but his dejection and despair was plain as day. He said he discussed it with uh, his associates, but I could tell. He is all but given up hope. Dejection and despair. Yep. You remember what we saw in in Vansa, um spot? Yes, soldiers and, ju uh, and jungle dwellers pushed to the very brink, turning into beasts one after the next. It would seem the same phenomena occurred here. The poor craftsmen attacked by the fiends, as well as those uh, witnessed it, all undergo the change. I suspect that everything began with Kazla. By all accounts, it was he who suffered um, from the most profound and piercing despair. Wait, could that be it? Such intense emotions is what triggered his transformation? Much remains unclear, but I believe we are drawing closer to an answer. At any rate, we must discuss our friends with the others. Alrighty then. Beyond the depth, depth of despair. Alright. Well, if we are to commune with the other to, uh, in front of the Mugga Tuna, are we not? We should, um, that should be just outside. With any luck, we'll have already returned, returned with our own investigations. My friend, we must take our leave. Pray this establishment is spared further tragedy, but remember, your lives are far more precious than any wares. If you are ordered to flee, do so without hesitation. Indeed. Thank you for your concern. Pray you two take care as well. Right. Which way is the exit? Ah, there you are. Is there a voiceover cutscene? There you are. You've spoken with the survivors. Hey, it is a voice over cutscene. Yes, we have. Indeed. We thought to share what we have gleaned, that we might together gain a greater understanding of present circumstances. Fortuitous timing. Alize and I completed our own investigations not long ago. Then we should take a moment to compare notes. Shall we begin with the two of you? Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. 
So the merchant Karzal was gravely concerned about his business in the days preceding his untimely end. Yep. That's literally what Jeff said. It. The tales we heard were much the same. The first victims to be changed into blasphemies were all overcome with anguish of one manner or another. Then those who saw their loved ones stolen before their eyes succumbed to a similar panic, setting in motion a chain of transformations. That's horrible. Fear, unease, despair. These negative feelings serve as a catalyst. And they're unavoidable too. Damn. If so, then it is not unlike the calamity that befell the ancients. It is exactly like it. With their creation magics, they unwittingly gave form to untold horrors. Had they simply lost control, surely it would have manifested in many forms, not all of them monstrous. Yet somehow, this phenomenon is triggered solely by the darkness in their hearts. A common thread with what we now witness. Yep. Common, but not identical. No. Oh. While the beasts the ancients faced were forged with magic alone, those of today are born of sentient beings. All right. Why remains to be seen, but there is one fundamental difference between us and our predecessors. Our souls are sundered. Whereas theirs were not. Very Perhaps true. That single variable makes all the difference. If I may, there was another detail that troubled me. We have it on good authority that Karl Zahl's transformation took place before the skies began to burn. What? If that's true. Then the situation's more dire than we realized. It means even if there's no ominous sign presaging the final days, anyone, anywhere, has the potential to become a beast. Yeah, and we're already seeing that in Alamigo and in Ishgard, unfortunately. Even in lands we thought safe, even as we speak. I know. Calm down, Alizé. Look! It's the Satrap! The Satrap! Thank the heavens! I wonder what he's gonna say. My countrymen, I am relieved and heartened to see you strong and safe. While the danger has not yet passed, far from it, allow me to assure you that the beasts that raged within the city walls have been exterminated to the last. Outside this sanctuary, the brave men and women of the Radiant Host and our dragon ally continue to battle our unholy foes. I pray these tidings put your minds at ease. And help you calm your hearts. Have faith that we shall soon conquer this terrible trial. Your Excellency, is there any word from Balagas stand? Oh boy. My grandson was bound for there yesterday and I, I worry for his life. <gasps> oh no, it's gonna trigger, isn't it? We are still awaiting a report. But I promise you, as soon as I have ought to share. You, Your Excellency, I bring grave news. Oh, shoot. You are? I, I'm Matya of, of Akiali, a humble fisherman. Matya. Oh, good to see you too again, buddy. Ah, I remember you. From our first visit. Uh huh. Wait, y you're. But, but no, that can wait. When the skies turned red, I set off for Palakistan. 
fearing for the safety of a friend. Come on. That as I drew near the village, I, I saw dreadful beasts all about. Oh no. God have mercy. Oh no. Your Excellency, save my grandson, I beg of you. Oh, it's gonna trigger, isn't it? We will spare no effort to save all we can, but you must remain calm. Calm? You tell me to be calm? Oh, it's gonna happen! Those beasts! They tore our bravest warriors limb from limb! Oh, no! Too late, huh? Did they catch him? Stick their fangs into him? The fangs! Oh, shit! Kill them before it spreads. We'll handle this. See the townspeople to safety. Run as fast as you can. <gasps> no, not the kid, not the child. Oh my god! Oh no! <gasps> oh! No, 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 no. No. Oh, do I saw the Lord. Enough. You must run for their sake and your own. Good God, that's so fucking dark! Then <laughs> damn you, you son of a bitch! You caused all this! Raha, don't do anything too crazy. But whatever it is you're gonna do, do it now. There's the crystal I took. Be strong, my friends. Fear not, for we will defeat these abominations! Brave men and women of the Radiant Host, 
Lend your stola and thank with your aid. Let not a single beast escape. Damn, girl. Most of you flee this place. Carry the wounded if you must. You let indoors or underground. You let out a vendor crypto X mark right there. Above all, stay calm. No beast will follow you. We will see to that. Alphano! Alize! Leave the city to us! And make for Palika's stand at once! Matya, show my friends to the village! I promise you, they're more capable than the host's finest! R right Go with them, will you? Alright, be safe, buddy. People, as many as we can. All of y'all better come back alive, that's all I'm saying. No double sacrifices. Holy t oh, fuck, man. Oh boy. We must um save Pakistan. What or whatever it takes. Um, Masaya, um, Matsaya. Uh, pains me to uh, to put you in harm's way, but would you aid us as well? Of course. That now is not far, just down the hill. But, um, I told his excellency before, the past was blocked by a terrible creature that had no choice but to turn back. In that case, here's what we shall do. Rex, as you take the lead in the special beast that you encounter, I live and I will keep Messiah hidden amongst the trees and follow the path to, um, path is clear. Okay. Alright, come on, Chocho. There's no telling what's under the way of. Keep an eye out, Peel. Alrighty then. Alright, where are you? On, you ugly beast. I'm gonna got you now. All right, looks like we're almost there. I need a little bit of help. There we go. It hurt. It hurt. Oh man, there's, I still can't get over the fact that it's still. But they're still talking because they're still used to be people. It's not like the thing they did with the city they didn't talk to remind you of that fact. Oh man, that is so fucked. Alright, there you three are. It cannot be. Oh, shoot. Damn. We must heal those we can, and quickly. I see no beef, but stay on your guard. All right. All right, let's see what we... Collapse. Motionless villager, okay. The body is cooling. The cooling body has already begun to stiffen. Oh, well, 
The massive wound suggests the villagers was gored by a terrible beast. You know that guy's... Let me guess. The villager has no pulse, nor do they appear to be breathing. Shit! Good God Almighty. Alright, how about you? Please tell me you're alive. Though the villager's injuries do not appear to be life-threatening, he does not respond to your efforts. His breathing grows more raging and, sh uh, and shallow, and his vacant eyes are those of a man who has lost the will to live. Even if I wake, the nightmare goes on. No, I have... Leave me to sleep. You call out to the man, but the man does not respond. Jesus Christ, dude. Wait, is there a person in here? No. Where's the- oh. Right in the row. Okay. Are you okay? It's alright, it's alright. Have you- Have you come to help us? Too late. Too late, my family. My friends. Jesus. Oh, hang on, let me attune to this. There we go. Why? The horror. These are the only villagers who survived. I can only hope that others managed to flee. But the rest have um, been turned into beasts by the twelve. Let us do what we can to see what damages um Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared the hell out of me. Um, let us do what we can to see what other damages um, spread no further. And no matter what comes, we must keep our spirits high. At least we ourselves suffer the same fate. Oh my f- Don't fucking do this to me, game. Don't give me that idea in my- Don't plant that idea in my head. Alright, I can turn to the rest. Pray look for Ma um, Matthias, and no doubt that he has seen um, her weighs heavy in his, on his heart than ours. Alright. Oh, Re Rex, Rex! This here is your own, your vault, the elder here. He is hurt, but that praise be the sisters. He still lives. Your Messiah has told has told me everything. I have not the words to express my gratitude for your aid. When the heavens began to burn, we were afraid. We did our best to carry on as we always have done. Until today, those unholy beasts came pouring to the village, a flood of midnight and death. There are no words to describe what followed. Men and women I have known since they were babes, struck down by the creatures, only to rise again to join the murderous horde, in the guise of the, those same hideous fiends. In the chaos, a handful of our villagers fled to their fled for their lives. I can only hope they have found their um, their way to safety. Matthias, do you perchance remember um, Keith and Quire and um, Marvan, the young couple who always brought um, brought you fresh catches? How can I forget, Elder? When I first came to peddle my words, uh, desperate, um, desperate to eke um, out a living, they showed me such kindness. Others shunned, um, shunned me as an outsider, as is their way, but um, Kwaizaf and, Ma and Mahavan brought me fish and, thom, and sung its praises. They turned my, uh, turned my fortunes around. Alas, I fear they were in, in terrible danger. I saw them running toward um, uh, Agama Temple. One of those beasts is in close pursuit. They had their child, but still, a tiny babe, to elude their 
to elude the fiends while caring for one young is an important task. Surely I beg of you. Go there and aid. I swear they better not be fucking dead. Oh, they're gonna be dead, aren't they? This is gonna be... Oh, man. Oh, man, dude. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is... This is... This game is getting dark. I want to help them. But I am but a fisherman. I cannot face beasts on my own. Who'd be willing to help me? Always here to help. We thank the Agama Temple. I'll take Agama Temple lights to the west of here. We must hurry. Alright. Alright, Jojo. Oh, I forgot I had this. I forgot I was using this. I forgot for I was using this mount mount while I was traveling um to make the aether currents and this was the fastest one that I had. Here you, crocodile. How did I forget I had this on here? Oh. Is it current? Run, 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 run. Are you fucking kidding me? That's it. Right. All right. The temple is just ahead. It was built by those worshippers of Saint uh, Saint Ama, uh, Agama Agama, but I was following a hard time. And if my friends made it this far, I no doubt they are hiding somewhere amidst the ruins. No, please, stay back. That was qu um Quirza qu qu No, this is not good. Okay. Right here. Yeah, yes, I understand. The cry came from the ruins. You must hurry. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? <gasps> no! No, no, don't fucking tell me. No. Don't tell me this is his wife and kid. Don't fucking tell me that. such a fucked situation if it is. The man lies motionless on the ground, bearing grievous wounds. Holy shit! I'm sorry, Rex. I tried to stay behind, but I could No, it cannot be. It's someone, anyone. My arms are so heavy, my legs. I cannot feel my legs. My wife fled with our daughter. Oh no. I need to find him. I need to be with him. 
venir Cofio, no, Cofio, you must stay strong More time I thought I had I I don't want to die To be beat the cover here. Thank you. Please find them. Malva still lives. She has their child. I really hope that those creatures weren't them. You must search the jungles between here and Park of uh, Fan. There's nowhere she could have gone, I think. Give me qu uh, quest off. Once we have saved your wife and child, we will return and lay you to rest. Jesus Christ, dude. Ah, stupid monkey. Fuck around and find out. That's what you get for fucking around and finding out. There's no tra um, no tracks or other sign of recent travel. My husband and a child must be elsewhere. Shit. And you are one ugly SLB. What the hell was that thing? That was one big ass snake. Alright. If my and her daughter came through here recently, have you seen no signs of evidence of passage? Oh shoot, I think we might have faced them. I think, I think the husband might have faced, might have been the one facing them, as like I suspect. I'm hoping I'm wrong though. Alright, did, did you see any sign of them? I found nothing. Perhaps the bees have chased them further from the village. Oh, God, above, we see you. They deliver Mahaban and her little one to safety.
Meanwhile, in the skies above Davnir. Oh, right, Astinian! In vitro! No more enemies to trouble us here. It's me. How fair you below. Yep. Understood. I will inform Vritra. Chaos and panic sweep Razad Han, and many more have succumbed to the transformations. Amidst the fray, Ahawan fell, protecting a grief-stricken father. Oh. My friends fight alongside your radiant host to secure the capital. Beasts have been sighted in Palakistan as well. We have divided our forces in hopes of quelling the threat there. Of small solace is that we now know what triggers the transformation, as my companions tell it. You wallow in sorrow or rise to the occasion. Razat Han is leaderless. Before he passed, Ahawan sought to reveal the truth to his people, honor his wishes. To what end? To breed a new conflict between dragon and man? I understand why he was so weary about man. Especially after doing the, after having fun the Dragon Song War, I completely understand it. These claws could reduce thee to shreds with a touch. These jaws crush thy bones to dust. Only through my proxy could I walk with my children. Without him, I am a bringer of fear. No different from the beasts which beleaguer them. Perhaps so. Only in death were Hreisvelger and Shiva united. Indeed, whenever man and dragon have come together, death has ever been the inevitable result. Wait. I thought Hreisvelger was alive. It was our fear of your kind that sparked a night endless war. Fear and hate of which Nidhogg drank deep as he laid waste to my homeland. And in turn, I took my revenge on his brood. Blood for blood, pain for pain. I thought nothing of theirs, only of mine. And yet, were the chasm between us too vast and too deep, Hreisvelga would not have borne his sail to battle and our rescue. Hey, you're so mentioned. He would never have entrusted a mortal champion with one of his eyes. And the Dragon Song War would still rage on. Tell him what happened. Tell him what happened, Ikenu. I would still wage a never-ending war of violence and vengeance. The future of our star be damned. I cannot speak for Ahuan's greater goals, yet I know that he served you, served your people long and true. In this time of unprecedented crisis, he turned to you. You could do worse than to place your trust in him. Damn, Miss Didion has grown so much since it the Dragon Song War. But the future of Radzid Han hangs in the balance.
Oh. We have company. Come, Breacher. It's all or nothing. Yeah, I've been in such a fucking badass. He's right on the back of a dragon, ready to fight abominations, man. All right, all right, Matthias. If Mahavan um, fled deep into the jungle, she and her child might be in great danger. Whatever are we to do, God have mercy. You must stay calm, Mataya. But how can I return like this? They could be dead. So, if I allow myself to overcome by this fear, I might too become a beast? I'm not sure I understand, but I will do my best. I I have seen to the wounded. How did you two fare? Did you find yourself um did you find your friends? Now we just found a corpse and a missing mother and child. That's all we found. I see. In that case, let us help you find the mother and child. Before we leave, we must ensure the village will be safe in our in our absence. Alan and I will patrol the area and search for more beasts. You will, um, would you and Messiah speak to the other um, Yarvog? Pray explain to um, pray explain to him the situation and join us as soon as you are able. We will save um Mahavan and her child. We can do um, we can do that much for Quarazov. Alrighty then, okay. I am heartened to see you both safe. What of the family? We found Quan Quazov, but he Say no more, I understand. You have lost another of our dear friends. Quazov uh, may be gone, but there is still hope for Mah Mahavan and the child. Please find them, I beg of you. And if you and if in your search you come across anyone else who escaped the slaughter, pray tell them what has happened. I will do my best to keep the villagers um villagers safe and their spirits high. Come, let us join um join your friends at once. Alright. Alright, there you two are. And please the report that the vicinity appears to be peace free. No doubt thanks to your earlier effort. And with that, let us resume our search for your friend and child. Where should we begin, Matthias? If we follow Kisso um Kisso um Ka um Kisserd Kisoda Road, we will arrive at per um Perzua, a temple which is a sacred place to the people who go to consummate um with the divinities. It is possible that Mahavan sought shelter there, and perhaps the villi um, other villagers as well. Etc. Messiah, stay close to me, alright? You two take the lead, and keep an eye out for beasts anyone, and anyone ahead in need of help. Alright, very well. The next will pursue and um, quickly as they're able to. Watch me. <laughs> alright.
Oh, look like somebody needs their help. Right, there we go. Are you alright? Th th thank you. I thought it was done for. Hmm? You one? She and the, um, is a friend of mine too, but I have not seen her. She must still be out there somewhere, trying to avoid the beast, and with her uh, ch child. God. Well enough for me. I can make my way back to the village on my own. Rex, wait! Brazil lies just up ahead, but something ter oh, terrible has happened. The beasts have come. Many have already been killed. I don't know unless they have gone to do what they can, but um, there is our, but there are so there's so many, there's so many more that I can't count. You must be ready. All right. I'm always ready. I'm always well ready. Ask you, monkey. I don't have time to deal with you. Oh, sh Really? Oh, dude, the dude... No, I don't want to die here. Okay. No, I guess. Okay. Hey, why can't I summon my... There you are, Churchill. Can't talk. Okay. Well, right, one more. What's that? All right, come on. Pick up the pace. Yeah. Oh, the gods. Say something. Um. <gasps> no. Why is it? Why are there so many parents watching their kids die in this game? This is the third time I've seen it this today! Not today. But you know what I mean?
All right. Not at all, no. Right. There you are. How far are the others? I see. We're seeing all the beasts in sight. In, ca in that case, let's uh, um, let's have another ga um, gather in front of the temple. Holy shit, dude. At least we saved a lot of people. Courage, friend. The pain will pass. Has anyone seen Melon? Where could she be? We've dealt with all the blasphemies, and made certain no villagers are still in hiding. Good work. We've otherwise tended to the wounded as best we can. What will become of us? Help is on the way, surely. We may have to abandon our homes now, but we will return, someday. Where can we go? Is anywhere even safe? Maybe the moon? But who knows? That I cannot say. But I can. Nowhere safe. Run all you like, but there's no escape in these things. Oh no. Don't turn right now, lady. And even if I could. <laughs> it's too late for my family. <laughs> Man. This isn't good. The more they dwell on the tragedy, the more likely we are to lose them, too. My friends, this... This is a place of worship. Should your heart quake with sadness, to cast your mind to the heavens and remember. Remember the teachings of the old gods. Did they not implore us to stand fast when waves of sorrow break against our shores? Know this, my children. There is more ugliness than beauty in this world. To live is to suffer. To drink of calamity and drown in anguish. To toil and be tested, always and ever. Tis a perilous path you walk. Death lurks in the dark. And it's the sole promise that awaits at journey's end. You will tremble with terror. You will weep tears of anger and despair. But do not avert your eyes. See your life for what it is. Then will you see how the hardships make you strong. Every doubt reforged as scales for your armor. Every agony to temper your blade. You know, this random ass civilian really has an epic voice. 
Well, not epic, but like very. Like she has a very strong, like like not strong. What what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Thank you, lad. We'd almost forgotten who we are. But also, the Sai is awesome. Like for this. He's awesome for this. My undying gratitude to you as well, my friends. You were searching for Mevan, no? We must return home. I pray you help the boy find his friend. Gladly. We dispatched what beasts we could, but the roads are still dangerous. Stay together and go in safety. That was very impressive, what you did back there. Those words seem to resonate with your people. They should. They were the first spoken unto our ancestors by the divinity of legend. I'm easily upset, and fish are wont to flee a temperamental hand. So I recite the teachings over and over to calm myself. They're lovely and inspiring to hear, though I imagine they were born of great misfortune. They are born of life. There's as much bad as good in it. Uh, more, many would attest. All the more reason to appreciate the good when you can. I won't argue with that. Neither will I. In darkness, seek joy. Surrender not to sadness, and see beyond despair. Walk free, and bear the light for others to follow. Mm. And with that, let us see if we can't find Mervyn. Oh, Lord. Did you see? That beast was chasing someone. Could be her. <laughs> All right. Let's go follow it. Over there, my view was blocked by the trees, but I'm sure someone was being chased by the beast. Go, Rex. Go with, uh, Rex, go with the fire and search for the, along the river. Alpha now and I will circle around the cells. Alright, come on, Chacho. Uh, you see anything? Oh! Oh shoot! There she is! Thank you. 
I'm gonna come in clutch! Yeah, let me- oh shoot, I was like- Come on, save them both, save them both! They go to the designated location. Alright, go, 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 go! Swim, 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 swim! <gasps> Wait, where the fuck is the baby? May have arms body, like his body floats on before you, battered and broken. Her death, no doubt, came swiftly. Oh no, she's dead already! No! Her infant daughter, however, is, uh, is nowhere to be seen. Shh! Damn that freaking beast! <gasps> there's it, there it is, there it is. There she is, come on, come on. You take the babe into your arms. Young, she, uh, if she yet lives, we cannot tell. But she will surely not survive unless you carry her at once. Okay, then let me. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Swim! Swim, you bastard! Alright, what is the exit? Oh, mother of God. Swim! 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 Go, 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 go! Jesus Christ! Dang, I hate these monkeys. Did you find Mehavan and the child? Damn it all. Kill the child. Let me see her. The child be all right. So cold. Oh, no. oh no, no, no. The child is alert and I see no wounds, and yet <sighs> she grows weaker. My spells can do no more. What she needs is a change of clothes and a warm bed. We must hurry back. Oh, great. Not now. Matsya, take the child. It appears we've made enough noise to be heard for miles around. More will be upon us ere long. <sighs> we make our stand here. Matya, can you take her back to the village? But the child, all, all by myself. You can't be serious. We have no choice, Matya. The beasts will follow you home unless we stop them here. 
And so we shall. Be strong, Matsya. Her life is in your hands. Right. I... I can do it. I know you can. We'll keep them busy, Matsya. Go! Quickly! Well, come on, Matthaya. Steady. You know the way. No! 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 Not you too! No, not the baby! Come on, man, don't do that! Don't be afraid! Don't be afraid! To live is to suffer, to drink of calamity. It is a perilous path. Death lurks in the dark. No! I'm not afraid! I'm not afraid! Come on, Matthias! Ah! Do not avert your eyes! See! See your life for what it is! See how the hardships make you strong! Every doubt we forge! Oh no! Every agony. <sighs> oh! Infinian! Oh, you're a lifesaver! Divinity. Nay, but one who would deliver thee just the same. Please, you must save the child. She is all that remains of Nevan and Grasa. Please. Well, well. Seems the baby has <laughs> taken a liking to you. <laughs> the baby like dragon these things. Despite our friends, oh. we flew in. That's the first time I ever heard you laugh. to be holding their own against the horde. Right. That's the last of them. We should hurry and find Matsya. We should. I have a feeling he, he will be fine. Really? How can you be so sure? Yeah, how can I a be sure? A fine battle it must have been. <laughs> Shame I missed it. Estinian. It was you who came to Matia's aid. I was only along for the ride. Vritra was the one who saw the boy was in need. The two are headed back to the village. Where the worm will honor Ahiwan's wishes and finally reveal himself to his people. Perhaps so. 
Will you go and join them? There's something I need to do first. Mervyn gave her life so that her child might live. She deserves better than to be left to drift alone. She deserves to be laid to rest beside her husband at least. Will you help me? Well, Drew, yeah. finally seems right. We have done what we can. Just for the village of pa um, Pakistan to perform the, the funeral rites. If nothing else, Mehavan and Karzov died as they lived, as themselves, and not as beasts. Their souls will find peace in the ethereal sea. To think the day would come when even the smallest of souls would be this comforting. Yep. Ooh, that's gonna be good for crafting. Are you ready then? In that case, let's head to Pak um, Pakistan. No doubt Vitra is waiting for us. There we go, teleport. Get the stickers there. One more. All right, Beatrice. Rest easy. For all is well here. Young Matsaya has returned with the babe with the babe safe in his arms. Owing to the warm bed, the girl has already begun to regain her strength. Most joyously received was word of the mother and father's fate, as well as their transformed neighbors. How many children of Davnir must we lose to this calamity? Mothers fa and fathers. Brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. Every death, another void that can never be filled. We who survive them must carry the weight of their memory. We strive to regain a semblance of what we have lost. Kwarasov and Mahavan's babe is a child of Davnir as well. I thank you for returning her to us safe. A brief respite of it may be. Almost great and merciful worm. I have not the words to express my gratitude. They say you are um, that were it not for you, Babe Matthias and the child would not have would have been lost for us forever. Long had I heard the rumors that the mighty dragon had forged a pact with our uh, friendship with the first with the saw trap. But never would I have expected such a kind and gentle soul. Truth in part, but not in whole. I am Vitro, and for years Unac uh, unaccounted hath the isle served an as mine abode. An isle I have ruled over as Sartrap, with Ahawan as my loyal servant.
My ears to be believed. You were the true friendship all along. N uh, Nadal, what are you doing here? I heard from the radio that you had gone to help the people of Pakistan, Finn. In a time of need. And so I heard several of my colleagues from the Great War came here to offer our services. The alchemists have already brewed up some potions for uh, Mehavan's daughter. But enough about us. You and your role are the far greater uh, enigma. If you were the true Starship along, could it be that the young um, Varshan was created to serve as your emissary? That disrespected boy was but a uh, simul simul uh, simul uh, simul uh, simul uh, A rumor has circulated for many years around the High Crucible that our most skilled alchemists were once commissioned by the Star Trap family in secret to fashion a mammoth indistinguishable from a living boy. Looking at Vershan and the and with the knowledge I simply put two and two together. It was a uh, I was not alone in drawing this conclusion. But like me, they would no doubt recognize uh, recognize that the Sarchap was using the circulum to work well, closely with his people and decided not to press the issue. I had always assumed it was one of Ahawan's associates um, was manipulating it from afar, so the truth is indeed more surprising. It is an honor to meet you in the flesh, Master Vitra. Pray allow me to express my gratitude. If you had not believed in, in and given unto us the, uh, your skills, I do not know where we would be. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. That was nice. Twas thou thy fellow alchemist that fashioned the means of unmaking the towers. You were the sabers, not only of Rob's at Han, but the star. You're far too kind, Master Vitra. But the star yet while wants for salvation. Once more will my colleagues and I commit to the knowledge and researches at our disposal. To the mission of aiding the people in this and their darkest hour. Was what seems this place is in good hands. I would return to see how Rods at Han fared. Will you do um will, will you do science? Oh, what will you do? Science. Well, I'm done at reading. Alright, we're waiting for the survivors um we met at Persua. Shall we pay them a visit before making our way back? In that case, might I ask a favor? Nothing too burdensome, I promise. This way. Alright, now done. You need to sit my, just a bit longer, I say. In the meantime, I was hoping you might, ah, I might ask you a few questions. The red sky, the terrible beast. What is the, um, what in the name of the sisters is happening here in Thavnir? The final days is what's happening. The final days. Oh my, that's rather a lot to take in. Yep, it was, uh, it would seem the situation is even more grave than we suspected. Thank you, friend. My colleagues and I will use your knowledge to see if it can be further to further our own research. And with that, here we are, a, pot, a piping hot chai. Brewed from um from my own secret recipe of spices and tea leaves. Together with help, um hearty helpings of rich milk and pure sugar. I've made it enough for everyone in the village. Might I trouble you to deliver a few cups? The drink has met um medicinal properties then. Not in the least. The ingredients are quite ordinary. It's so very tasty though, and has always been um always a way of lifting the spirits. The spicy um the spicy aroma, distinctive sweetness, and chai is a simple uh 
everyday pleasure on our land. Sometimes the uh, the best medicine is the simplest. Lovely sentiment, Nadon. By all means, allow us to assist. All right. Are you down? Lot disturb not um. While you lot distribute hot beverages, I will seat the air arm for Eric Beast to slay as far as left our distance chest. No doubt you have finished. Look on. Uh, look for me at the Wakafo Toran. Toran. I cannot talk for my life. Okay, where to? Everybody? Nope. Alright, come on, Chacho. Ah, there's one person. Uh, uh. There we go. Alright, where are you, citizen? Wait, I know you. You were one of the soldiers from the beast in the back of the tip. Oh, excuse me. Uh. Alright, I'm good. All right, but not for you. We well, let's not even think about that. At times like this, we must dwell on, mustn't dwell on what might have been, but look to the future. The world future awaits us. How can we as Han hope to recover from this? Most of my friends are gone, and I don't know where to turn. Have some chai tea. It will ease your it will ease your mind. I mean chai, not chai tea. Just tea, just chai. Cause chai means tea. I cannot call it TT. <laughs> Alright. Enough of my cringe humor. Alright. A cup of chai? One of you insist. Ah, the aroma always felt crunching in my mind. Come to think of it, we have faced our fair share of trials in the past as well. And no matter how hard at the time, always come together as a people united. One day at a time, one step at a time, but that is all I can do. Yes? Back to work. Once I finish this cup, thank you. Well, there's one person down. Okay, uh... Let's check a report. Ah, there we go. Alright. Ah, oh, she kind of looks like Leaf a little bit. Uh, from this angle, at least. All right, I'm sorry. I just want uh, want to be left alone. My friend, best friend and I were... We fled the village together. One of the beasts took him and... and it was all I could do was a run. Well, all the while, I could hear the monster's voice screaming my name. Jesus. All right. That's a lot to take in. Hmm. This for me? Ah, we used to drink chai tea together. I didn't share the story of our steaming cup after a hard day's work. Thank you, friend. The pain may never pass, but I must press on all the same for his memory and for who we um who we must remember. Alright, ow. Ah, there we go, one more person. Look at them all, living about, knowing full well the bees might strike again at any moment. Do they not realize their lives are in danger? Well, I for one intend to survive. I'm too young to die, yes? I'll leave this island behind if, if I must. But where would I go? Where, where would I sleep these days? Cup of chai? Can't you see I have more important things to worry about? No, 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 you're right. It's precisely in times like this that we must strive to remain calm and steady. I do believe I'll, vi I'll visit the Elder and see what needs to be done. If there's any way I can to aid my village and my friends, I will do it. Alrighty then. Thank you for delivering the Chirax. Did it help lift the Vinegar Spirits? It did a little bit. That is heartening to hear, indeed. The final days show no signs of abating, abiding, but that is all the more reason that we mu um, must try and keep our composure. 
Our lives have been forever changed, and the people have left, have lost will never, uh, will never return to us. The tragedies were a long way in our hearts, but we have the capa uh, capability, I mean not capability, the capacity to live with our suffering, to carry our agony till we too join the fallen in death. It is not a, a surrender, but a recognition, for it is only acceptance that we find the strength to move forward. Oh. I guess she has a point. Alright then. Ah, there. There's the quest marker. Alright, under his wing. Let's see where those... Alright. Have you finished your delivery? Might I uh, and talk to you for a moment? I'm curious to know what has become of Mehavan and Qu uh, Quartzar's remains. Oh, thank you, friend. Surely they will be able to rest peacefully by each other's side. And the people of Pakov Stan will perform the rites as soon as we are able. As for the child, it will not be easy for her, growing up without parents, but I promise to do what I can. Once she is able to eat solid food, the fish and, um, the fish and I catch will help her, uh, help nourish her. That's good. We have finished delivering the chai. I do believe everyone has a piping hot cup. I could almost believe there's magic at work. How the attention fades with every sip. In the spirit of Pakistan, is Pal Pakistan has seen the last of those transformations, at least for now. They are still at risk, as every village in Devnir like is not. Still, I trust that we can leave this place in the care of our friends, from the Radiant and the High Crucible. Shall we return to Rathat Han? By all means, do not let us keep you further. There are still many who have need of you, of your wisdom, and strength um, to deliver them from this terrible calamity. And I will do what I can as well. I will bring rations and supplies um, from Akalai, and I will have plenty to spare. We must find a Stinian. Be on our way. Be on our way. Where do you wander off to again? Fighting off some beast, I think. <sighs> Walk of Latora. All oh, right, I forgot about that. The bridge of um to Rod that Han. I recall it very well. All right. Later, guys. I'll come back soon. Hey, what the heck? Oh, this must be, um, quest markers for the Ethernet. Let me see. Is it? Yep, alright, I'm definitely coming back here again. Alright. Alright, let's go. Oh, there you are, Athenian. I have not told you everything. So glad I am to hear the people are safe. Likewise, you will be pleased to know I found no evidence of lingering beasts in the jungle and ruins. This would seem you finished off the last of them. Trying times yet lie ahead for the people of Davnir. Unfortunately, they have a wise and um. Fortunately, they have a wise and beloved um thought trap to shepherd them through. Speaking of which, I received word from Thinkrid not a short while ago. He awaits our, our return to the city on Azadon's path. Come. Alright.
Well, it looks like they're going to be right ahead of us, though. That's good. Hey, thank you, How you been? Ah, it's good to see you safe. Given the skies, it's uh, uh, all too easy to feel the worst. And please report that we succeeded in quelling the threat here in the city. The beasts have all fl um, fled. The uh, not fled. The uh, have been fell um, felled, and the citizens are safe now. Also, I heard that the Radiant uh, has an important proclamation. It will be made in the city square, though they said no more more than that. Now, we have any idea what it is about? If you ever realize the true Star Trek. So, Vitra is finally coming out of um, behind the curtain. I suppose, too, we should hear what he has to say. The Magatunda, then. Before that, it would appear that uh, word of the assembly has not yet reached all the citizens. If anyone along um, the way seems unaware, you best enlighten them. Alright. Alright, let's go. Oh, there we go. There's our first quest marker. All right. Are are the beasts all gone? They've been hiding, and I'm too scared to go out and look. Yes, yes, all the beasts are gone. Oh, that's a relief. I thought one of those beasts was going to eat me. I wonder where um, Rashawn is. He's the slowest runner. I hope he got away. Hmm. He could be with the other people in the palace. Yeah, maybe I'll see him in the square. Alright, they still don't know that Rashan is actually like... Uh, what's he called it? A circumulum? Or a, a very, very impressive mammoth. Uh, uh, leave me be, please, I swear to you. My flesh tastes uh, absolutely terrible. Oh, gosh, what are you doing scaring me like that? If we're not, um, quiet, those beasts will find us. No, we're not. All the beasts are gone. The square, you say? Ah, oh, that's so that, that's where the saw tra that saw trap was killed. With my own eyes, as I'm crushed in the creature's maw. So many lives lost. Such terrible carnage. And you said there was someone, um, someone who... who would lead Ross at Han in his stead? Whoever they are, they're... Say anything to sully the memory of uh, our beloved Star Trap. I'll make them regret it. Man, these people really love um, Ahawan. All right. And now we wait. Oh boy, can't wait for this reveal. Look, someone's coming. Oh, he's in Vashon. People of Razathan, it warms my heart to see so many brave. Brazilian souls before me. Today, I would share with you a great revelation. But before I do, I must make a humble request. Do not be alarmed, nor avert your eyes. See the one I unveil for who he is, and know that he means you no harm. Very well. I dare say it can't be worse than the horrors we've already seen. Right. Many 
Thanks. Ver si ves. this entire time let us hope they accept him I mean, I'm too close to the mic aren't I <laughs> yep yep all right let us up If I am hearing this right, you were the satrap all along? Vashan! I mean... Master Vitra... The... The... Does your divine eye really see all? Nay, child. While my eye hath borne witness to the whole of our nation's history, to its future, I am. Friends and loved ones have been taken from us. I, too, have lost my closest confidants. Ahawan loved this land and served it with dignity till his dying breath. A nobler satrap there will never be. For so long, I lacked the courage to face you. I will not easily earn your trust, this I know. And yet, I cannot sit idly by and abandon Radzat Han to her fate. A font of boundless vibrancy, this jewel of the ocean. Since time immemorial, has she glittered with every color imaginable. To this dragon, slumbering in his dark lair, t'was a mesmerizing sight, and one that brought no end of joy to my heart. This calamity had stolen too much from you already, yet so long as you live, the light of Radzat Han will never be extinguished. I pray you let me watch over it. Over you. And lend me your strength, that we might face this trial and those to come as one. I do not know you, Dragon, but I thank you for speaking the truth to us. As divinities both Manusha and Riga once joined together, so too do I believe that hand in hand, we can overcome this ordeal and welcome an era of peace. A sight that would have surely brought a smile to Izale's face. <laughs> Uh, don't remind me of yourself right now. I'm a little bit emotional for, from that. 
indeed. Oh, shoot the phone. Where were they? Excuse me, but I must speak with the Sartrap at once. Father. You have suffered dearly of late, yet you must endeavor to look beyond these losses to the future you yet have. On behalf of the Forum of Charlian, I come with a proposal by which you, the people of Radzat Han, might be saved. Well, what that proposal might be? Again, I must speak with your satrap. I beseech you, take me to him with all possible haste. Yeah, uh, first of all, look to your right. I mean, left. I am satrap here. Speak thy proposal. All present shall hear and judge. If I have given offense, then I apologize. First, allow me to share with you what knowledge we have of the phenomenon responsible for your woes. The final days. All right, what do you know? It is an affliction of stagnancy and rot, sown into the currents of the star. Though the first prominent manifestation was here, in Thavnir, it will invariably spread to every corner of the world. Yep, unfortunately. The Forum was forewarned of this apocalypse several centuries ago. Thenceforth, my predecessors sought to prepare for the end times in the only conceivable fashion, by securing a means of escape. Oh, the... So they meant to... Oh, yeah. The star? What madness is this? It is by no means madness. Yeah, I've uh, I've been to the moon and I know what's up there. I have a giant spaceship. With the coming of the seventh umbral calamity, the true nature of the red moon Dalamud was revealed. That it was an artificial construct of ancient Alag. Yep. But what of the silver moon? Yeah. This celestial satellite is yet another technological marvel fashioned and maintained by ancient allies not brothers ship that will sail the heavens and deliver our people from destruction and by our people i speak not only of charlian we mean to save every man woman and child it is within our power to save including you our dear friends of radzat han recent events Necessitate adjustments be made, and quickly, but we can and will escort you safely to the moon. Long has thy forum been allies to Thavnir. I trust thou dost not extend this offer lightly. Yet I wonder, is this truly the way? Is there a future to be built for us beyond this star our father deemed the last bastion of hope? Well, yeah, I forgot. Midgard somewhere dubbed the star the last bastion of hope. Because he was looking throughout the stars, looking for a new place to basically live with his children, and he found this planet. So there has to be a way to save save the star it is for that very reason i come before you and your people to answer any and all of your questions to offer my assurances and allay your fears though if you wish the best for your people i advise you to render your decision swiftly Worry not. What 
Whatever decision is reached, your paths shall be yours to decide. Until then, heed the warning of these brave heroes. Guard your hearts against fear and despair, for it is within such fertile soil that the seeds of blasphemy find purchase. Remain calm, and attend to your daily tasks. I shall return anon. We'll do as you say, Master Vitra. We believe in you. Yeah. Oh, not done. You're in a hurry. Oh, you're still here. What a relief. Nidana, what's the matter? Has something happened at Palika's stand? Yeah, what has happened now? Oh, no, not that I know of. I just hope to hear your thoughts on a theory of mine. Oh, oh, okay. What is it? All who undergo the transformation are drained of their ether, yes? What is it then that gives these beasts the strength to carry on as they do? Yeah. Logically, they must be drawing upon an alternate form of vital energy. <gasps> oh, the... That put me in mind of our earlier conversation when I tried to explain the essence which many confuse with ether. Akasha, yes, I remember. The unseen gift bestowed from on high. An energy influenced solely by emotion. Oh! Yes, yes. In this instant, negative ones set Akasha into motion, thereby infusing the beasts with vitality. I posit this as the mechanism by which the beasts are born and sustained. Ah, do you still have that flower? Uh, yeah. They're carrying it with me right here. Right. Never mind then. If we accept that it once shone bright by drawing upon Akasha, influenced by the thoughts of those nearby, then fear, terror, despair, negative emotions so powerful as to suffocate it, permeated the air in this place. We must be very careful. The forces which drive the final days may be beyond our ability to perceive. Shoot. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you like that. At any rate, I will continue my research into Akasha. Do temper your expectations, however. There are sadly few detailed studies upon which I may draw. Formulating a new theory as you have is itself no small feat. I wish you well in your endeavors and pray you take care. Thank you. You stay safe as well, yes? Till next we meet, and we will meet again. Well, I guess I don't have that flower anymore. Well, what's gonna happen now? As far as we have come, and after all the horrors we've seen, there's still so much we do not know about the final days. Could it be that not, uh, Nida, uh, Nidana said that the cause of this phenomenon is beyond our comprehension? And if so, are we powerless to forestall it? And what the hell is... And what the hell is beyond the Akasha that is causing all this? Alrighty then. Uh, okay, look. If we unlock the the Ethernet um here, then I think I'll probably end the stream. But anyway, alright. Let's uh see. 
Greetings, honored, um, honored fans of Seventh Dawn. I have a message from His Excellency, the Star Trap. Great science. You have my gratitude for aiding my people in the most trying of times. Alas, matters of the Maga, uh, the Maga da Tunda, Maga da Tuna, uh, have prevented me from meeting with you in person. As a token of my appreciation, I have arranged for a feast to be held in your honor. May it nourish you in the preparation for the trials ahead. Such are the words of Master Vitra. The feast that he speaks awaits you in the uh, Mahada Malan. Perhaps it take you, um, pray may make your way there whenever your business here is done. We thank you for your kindness, and indeed, indeed, it was hope, uh, hoping we might find a place for, to discuss the next course of action. It seems it's a uh, vital venue. Ah, and to you, Rick, thank you, there is someone we had hoped to introduce you to in particular. I am left to continue uh, with you further. You must spare a moment of your time. Personal invitation, knowing full well of your services to the highest demands right now? It must be important. Worry now, we'll save some food for you. So take all the time you need. All right, guys. See you later. All right. Thank you, um, thank you, friends. Whatever they are, you're ready. Please join me at the Ethernet Plaza. I should go, go on ahead. All right. All right. Which is the nearest one? Uh, what's the other one? Oh my god, I'm so close to level 90 of the Dark Knight. I think the only thing I would have leveling up left is my Samurai. Access to the internet, as you see, has been restricted um, for a few select since the tower has first appeared. Uh, it doesn't seem like a few select considering what I'm seeing. Alright. So we sincerely apologize for the inconvenience, but it will be deemed too dangerous to permit for the free moon a visitor at a time of emergency. He wished that um, what could take. In light of recent developments, however, the side trip has, to climb, has decided that such restriction will only hinder our efforts to come at the final days. As such, I would encourage you to attend to the internet before proceeding to the corridor. Alright. Hey! Finally! And... Yeah! We're tuned! Oh wait. Hang on. Yeah, I'll do it later. All right. All right to the radiant host we go. Ah, you must be wondering what this place is. Stand in the hall of the radiant host, which is our leadership oversees all of um brought that Han's military operations. Thumbs up our thumbs up our destination lies just ahead. Oh, wait! Oh, this is gonna have the end work of World Quest, isn't it? This Guardian Delegate? Whoa! Hmm, oh, sorry, I was, uh, oh, right, thank you, this card remembers. This card remembers, let there be no doubt that the Fury favors this day we may stand in presence of a true hero, okay. Oh! Lemay, uh, Lemayson Delegate. Rex, I've been waiting for you. Dardanian. Wait, I know you. Ah, uh, forgive me. I don't chatter. Can wait. Udon. Well, look who we have here. Whoa, oh, word of your deeds and rest at hand has reached the Sultanate. So y just so you know. Alamigan. Liberated of Alamigo. It's always welcome in sight. If it, that can be an instrument, just ask. Alright. Doma Delegate. I think I would meet Doma's favorite here in this distant land. Holy shit! That's a lot of you, alright. I wonder if, I, if it's anything like the Shadowbringers one where 
it's so integral to the story that you literally have to do it. And I didn't do it last time. <laughs> Alright, welcome to Thin Jump. Without further ado, allow me to introduce you to... Oh god! Oh ho ho! So you're the famous Rex like a kitty, eh? I knew it would be a moment you stepped um, through that door that you would um, look um, look of one of who's walked through hell. Shearbot, please! You're speaking to the Fletcher of Thunder Guest and the savior of, uh, of our people. Can you not show the Makodium uh, of respect? What disrespect is there in paying a fellow warrior a compliment? We're all friends here, and, and we will be soon enough. Or will be soon enough. More formally than the benefit of our countrymen, it is a pleasure to have you with um with us, our honored great champion of the size of the seventh dawn, warrior of light, and all around good egg, I am sure. What is this place? Who are you? This talk of eggs reminds me I'm late for dinner. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> man after my own heart. I like that. Worry really not, I'll keep it short. Just as the things um are two we'd like you to remember. First of all, the room you are standing in now. Ratha Han welcome delegates from all lands to oversee trade and diplomatic um dealing. There are the military matters of this gun, which is why and these officers are stationed here in Sunja. I imagine you're more familiar with each of the nations they represent, yes? We got representatives from Doma. Oda and Alamigo. La Mesa Lenzoma. And Gridania. And last but not least, Eshgard. There are the eyes and ears and mouths and birds between the distance, um, the distance between Raza Han and the respective homelands. You use this um, brief respite to share the details of our plight um, overseas, uh, over overseas counter. Wouldn't you know all the leaders requested a few words from you specifically? You're a man of high demand, eh? So, would you mind regaling us your accounts and indulging? Dodging up before you indulge yourself? Will do. Thank you for the report. The conditions under wow, which men are turned to be the historical anomaly you have observed, you have a uh, have given us much to consider. And this um and this it is concerning that the first temperature apparently occurred before the skies turned red. It's contrary to what one would expect. Thankfully, the information you, um, you convoy to Lucia upon your return from the moon has already proven invaluable. As soon as the reports of the calamity here in Thavnir reached the Grand Company of Erosia and the Far Eastern Allies, our leaders knew once that the final days were indeed upon us. They began taking steps to assess the extent of the phenomenon spread. Our agents were able to confirm that for a time being, the skies only turn, only burn on. Um, the skies burn only over the the bounty, including the islands of the Cor um, Corvos. Alas, there's little comfort. Aye, although allied um lands, there have been reports of people transforming into hideous beasts. Oh boy! From what little we have learned, these um, incidents are similar to the nature of the merchant call. In it, um, it was uh, the case with the victim in the weather changed prior to the heavens being set ablaze. And so while burning skies have yet, um, yet to manifest beyond the bounty, the transformations do not appear to be such subject to any similar restrictions. If anyone anywhere overcomes their despair, um, they can turn, then no worries see. That's about the size of it. Speaking of which, we ought to give these creatures a name, don't you think? Here in Rasa Han, we're taken to calling the, the first to change intended to be the biggest. Blasphemy. A fitting name to Zeni to ensure clarity of the future communication. We shall urge comrades to adopt this 
terminology. Ah, I get it. Because the last one they were called the vir the Cardinal Virtues, and now they're blasphemous. And leaders are taking measures to deal um, deal with this threat to the best of their abilities. Hi, each nation has assembled their own group of uh, elite soldiers to put down these so-called blasphemies and respond as they appear. At the uh, same time, they are doing all in their power for, um, to put the people's minds at ease and to prevent panic and fear from spreading. That said, brave souls and strength fortitude for, um, to throw these terrible fiends are not so easily found. Just so, it's for that reason that we turn to you. Pray lend us your strength and help us slay these blasphemies and pl that plague our homelands. Well, if I can, that is. Now then, you don't have to give um, a reply for um, before dinner. I would also mention that the blasphemies seem to possess widely different characteristics, which works um, well, well against one may serve you poorly against another. But before you go rushing off to save everyone's day, have a word with each of the delegates to tell which um what you what to expect. All right, we'll do. And with that, I believe our friends have um has a feast to attend to. Spare a thought um for us while you are tucking um tucking into all your fight cuisine, eh? Yana, I guess blah blah blah. Because delegates, okay. All right, let's see which one. I've unlocked. Oh! They learned from Shadowbringers this time! Shrouded in peril. The delicate energies they need a uh, stout defender to combat the. Uh, need to. Alright, let's. Alright, let's see if. Uh... Oh! Yes! <laughs> the Lamazon Roman. Oh, that means the other two are... Alright, let's see, what what are you? Healer class, okay. You need a healer for the yellow. <gasps> Hold up! This one has Fredola and Arbonne and Rubon! Oh, I need a, I need a healer class immediately. Oh, I need to do that story. Alright, what does Domon have? It needs a physical range GPS. Oh, it has Lord Ian. Oh, I need to learn a healer class. Damn! Oh, okay. Alright, well, anyway. Well, uh... Uh, it looks like I have to finish this mission, uh... Uh, uh, next stream because uh, I gotta get ready to go to work. So anyways, uh <laughs> All right for tomorrow. We're gonna be doing uh for tomorrow and Sunday. We're gonna be re reacting to uh WWE's payback pay-per-view and uh, AEW's all-out pay-per-view And so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing over the weekend so uh, well, Yeah, so anyways, uh, this is a good time of uh, any to wrap it up uh you can follow me on my socials, my Twitter handle is at like a kitty underscore Rex and my VODs and you can rewatch the VODs later on to my YouTube channel which is Rex like a kitty VODs capital V-O-D in a lowercase f Thank you for coming to my stream and I hope to see you again real soon Later Legadoids, bye!